The next movement that we're going to do is another direction of Tsunagi against a right player. This is when you guys are moving in the direction to your left. This isn't a really complex movement, but I do think that it's there are a few things that you should keep in mind when you're doing it. So one thing that's really important is that if you're moving this way and you plan on doing drop Tsunagi, uh, your opponent cannot be ahead of you. If they start moving ahead of you, chances are you lost that timing to be able to drop in. So you'll be able to see if we start moving sideways and I let her get ahead of me, I probably won't be able to enter. From there, you can see it's really difficult to be able to enter something once your partner is ahead of you. So it's really important to be able to control your grip and make sure that you're always ahead of them and a little bit in front of this leg. So, the next thing that you want to note is that in a competition setting, things move typically really, really fast. So, if you're on your third or fourth step of moving sideways, chances are that your grip has changed, the direction has changed, or your opponent has already attacked on you. So it's really important to uh, attack on the second or third step of that movement. And this will ensure that you'll be able to um, find the timing to enter drop scene at you without anything changing too much. So really what I'm keeping in mind is I want to cut off her second or third step with my attack of drop scene at you. You can almost see that as ideally before she places her foot down, I am already attacking and entering the drop tsunami. So I'll show what this looks like. As you can see with the placement of the drop on this leg, as she's moving this way already will really help create that momentum to throw her. I'll then show you, show you in a few directions.